at the internal elections of the Opposition National Democratic Congress uh, with uh, two candidates at least speaking they are uh, or filing actually their nominations for the presidential race. The latest to join is Ernest Kobi after John Romani Mohammed did that earlier today. My colleague Samuel Mbura has more. Under the NDC, the youth that has followed this party from time immemorial, if you turn your camera now to any of the branch people that we are moving with, what they will tell you is that they have never gotten anything from the party. And it's true. Me have been a grassroots man and have witnessed this. But Mr. Enesi Kokobia, his coming is just for the youth, the grassroots. The youth one. The youth. You realize that any association that one joins, at least at the end of the day, you need some benefits. But what have they gotten from the party? Anytime these young men and women work for the party, when the party wins power, we is, I don't want to use words that we damn them. All I can say is that we don't recognize them. Have you ever had any appointment given to a grassroots? At least there should be a time that will get this is minister from the branch executive. Some of them are holding diploma, degrees, and masters. And when you win power, you only go and pick financiers to give them appointment. How will the party grow? In fact, the grassroots, naming ceremony, weddings, funerals, we contribute from our own pockets to finance the party at the grassroots. Are those alone enough to qualify someone for political appointment? You talk about they picking financiers. They also hold the degree, the masters, and the advantage is that they contribute money to help the party. So I want to ask you a question. If you put up your farm and you go to the farm every day to weed and take care of your young maize to grow, and somebody comes to give you fertilizer, after harvesting, he takes all and say because he bought fertilizer, will you be happy? What about your energy you put there? What about your time? So vis-a-vis, -vis, at least we should have a balance. We are not saying that they should give everything to the grassroots, but there should be a balance. Your candidate is coming up against a former president, a former finance minister, as well as other uh, uh, persons of, uh, who have held different positions in the party before. These are big wigs in the NDC. How sure are you that your candidate, if he passed the vetting, can go into the uh, elections and emerge as the flag bearer of the NDC? I am telling you that now the party members, that is the delegates, they are thinking deep. It's no more the era where you use money to go and throw that and they will... I, I, is, is that what they do? No, I want to tell you. That's why I was even coming to that. Way. Do you know that any time we are going for a contest of this nature, the grassroots, the delegates for that matter, they normally say that it is time to harvest their cocoa because they are aware that aspirants will be paying. You have been hearing that. Why do they normally get the money to pay? Okay, then. Uh, so let's hear it from the candidate himself. And Escobia is our guest here on The Pulse. It's good to see you in the studio. Thank Welcome. You, sir. Thank you, sir. Um, so you were the, fa uh, the first person to file your nominations today. This morning. Uh, do, do you consider that as a, as a good sign, as a good omen, the fact that you may uh, emerge number one when you go into that race? Oh, to be honest with you, I did say earlier that uh, I'm a very good manager and coach. Right. So always I see how the game is going and I change my strategy. Mm. So I told my boys that this morning they should speak to the head of my paper, okay. NDC, mm -hmm. and then uh, they give us a chance to submit earlier. Okay, so they give you the opportunity to be the first to submit that. I did ask. Okay, and, and after you did that, John Romani Mahama came through. The old boy. Yes. Was, yeah. Oh, you call him the old boy, right? Yeah. Yeah. Why, why don't you give him the opportunity to run? Just support him and allow him to run. To be honest with you, um, I'm here to create opportunity for everyone in the country to know that NDC, we brought democracy. And to let our youngs to know that we are not intimidate anybody. So far as you are confident that you can deliver what NDC want, mm -hmm. you can come forward and pick up the phone. That is what I did. The last time I was asking you, uh, you threw a challenge to me. You told me, okay, well, Bezet, I'll be back. And in fact, when I return, I'm not just paying my filing fees, but I'm also going to support the party with, with some cash. Have you redeemed that pledge? Have I you given did, money to the I, party? What I did say is, mm -hmm. um, whoever win, I will support with cash. Yes. So we can take power from MP. And, and I recall you saying you'd even give more than the filing fee to the party. Yes. Yes. I'm we, asking if you've done that. 
I did not do it today because we still want the process and I don't want confidence on interest of anything. Right. Somebody would think that uh, because of my money, you want to that's break. why I step forward. No, it's not like that. There is a something in me. There is a something in you. We can all work together and build up this nation. Mm. That is what NDC is looking for. Mm. And we've done it before. We can do it again. So I'm here to prove that wherever you are, Ghana is your land. Mm. And so far as you have uh, your NDC, you can make a difference. Uh, and and this, this has been by far one of the most controversial questions. It's as harmless as possible. But of course, it's been, been, the, been the source of a lot of controversy. And I'm going to ask you as well. Why do you want to be president? To build a new Ghana. Mm. Because Ghana is still the same mm -hmm. from since our democracy. And we deliver the safely for uh, democracy, which is freedom of speech and etc. Mm. The next stage is to develop and have a good environment mm. and have a good resources so our family and the people will be safe at home. Mm. Right now, mm -hmm. When you look at the things, when you finish your university or you drop up, the best job for Ghanaians to do, to go and apply visa, to go and work for somebody. I just, Elsewhere? Yeah. I want to yeah, put but, but you've also been out of the country. I mean, looking at your profile, you've worked outside the country before. I did. I, that's I your did. background. I did. So why are but you accusing uh, no. young Ghanaians of doing what exactly you did years ago? Because there is no job. So I'm here to create a job mm. so we can build our nation forward and all this thing need to be stopped. Right now, just ask yourself, right. the next 500 years or the next 200 years, where is Ghana going to be? Where is the Europe going to be? Yeah. When you look at things in London, they know something can happen right. on 2020 and they decided to create a job to develop old city called London yeah. to become a new city. Yeah. So. If they can do that, we can do better than that. Okay, I, I've heard from your OT regional chairperson, uh, John Japon Kujo. He says, for instance, that those of you who are contesting John Romani Mahama, what you ought to have done is that, I mean, almost all of you are coming from the Ashanti region, correct? And there's Kujo Bunso, there's uh, Dr. Kwabena Dufo as well, and yourselves, you all come from the Ashanti region, which is not really... Uh, a popular I, spot for the party. I so know, what you should have done I, is to channel your energy, take your energy back. I know, home, I know. Go I, and yeah. win a parliamentary seat, and then you you better the chances of the NDC. How do you respond I, to that? I think, I think it's you disagree not, with it's, me. No, it's not understand what the democracy means. Forget about I'm from Ashanti. Hmm. NDC opened the doors hmm. for anyone. When you look at our old general right. chairman, his best friend is Vuswampofu. Uh, so why did they contest? Sometimes certain things is a logic. They open it. The party have every right mm. or power to say, Jim, old boy, should go alone. Mm. And they did not. They say, we'll never qualify. Can, 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 can contest. Okay, yeah. I get that. But then don't you get the analysis the OT regional uh, chairperson of the NDC is making? The fact that... If, if you channel the energy you're using now to run for the race into the Ashanti region, three of you would make a significant difference for the NDC in the Ashanti region because this is an area where you don't get to a be, lot of votes. Yeah, to be honest with you, mm. what he said, right. I believe that old boy was not happy with that. Oh, really? John Mahama yes. was not happy? Yes, because mm -hmm. it shouldn't go that, that thing. Right. And when you look at my record... On 2020, I did help JM. I did. Even myself, I was in an important contract, but the day on the vote, I have to, six hours in, six hours out. I spent only just, I think, 13 hours in, in the country for just only a vote. So if Okay, it, so you had to fly into Ghana. Yeah. Right? To, to vote, although you had an important contract. Yeah. Just to vote. Yeah. Because and you spent six hours yeah. doing rallying, organization, yeah. gr grounds work, and, and then you flew back out, yeah. uh, out of the country. Yeah. So if you somebody now come up and said, mm -hmm. I have to support JM, mm -hmm. what I'm doing, if JM win, we all supporting the party. Okay. No matter who the yes. flag bearer will be, that's you're why, willing to support. That's why last time I told you mm -hmm. that if old boy win or the four win, 
I will support everything I have mm. for them to get to for, power. For how long have you been supporting the NDC? Oh, Be because many say uh, you, you're just springing from, up from yeah, nowhere. No, like nobody knows you. Uh, you don't, you don't have huge I'm, following within I'm the NDC. I'm someone. Uh, are you well known within yeah, the NDC? I'm someone. People know you in the yeah, NDC? I'm, I'm someone I walk from outside. And always when you see me, mm. you never believe that this is the guy. Who I, works for the NDC. Yeah, I'm an ordinary person. And I can do anything for NDC, but you won't know me. On the other way around... But, but, but I mean, even if the grassroots are not well aware of what you do, how about the leading figures in the N NDC? John Muhammad knows you well. Uh, I mean, Dr. Dufour, they, you, they all know that you're you a member in good stuff. To be honest with you, if style. I said to you, I see Jem face to face, I'm just telling you lies. Right. But Jem must already know my name mm. from which is uh, 2019. Mm. You've been supporting the party. Yeah. And he know NSTs. But all this one take everybody supplies. Yeah, I mean, yes. we are all surprised because yes. we didn't see that coming. Yes. We didn't see that yes. um, you would contest. Yes. And that's why I'm asking the question as to how that will translate into your votes. Because if the people don't know you, how are they going to vote for the you? The time we are in now hmm. is not about publicity and it's not about who you are. Okay. It's what you can do for Ghana, what you can do for NDC. Hmm. That is why I'm here. Hmm. When you look at the record now, you will see that a uh, few people are speaking forms for MP. Mm -hmm. There are a lot of young guys inside. Mm -hmm. So my challenge is to open a door mm -hmm. for anyone believe that mm -hmm. can provide something for Ghana. Okay. And my aim is to build a new Ghana, right. to stop everything going on all the time. Everybody is fake. Oh, they are not genuine leaders. Everybody is fake. Mm -hmm. They're pretending this, they pretend that, they pretend this. We need to be real people. Mm -hmm. We need to develop Ghana. We have only one Ghana. We have only one. There is no other Ghana anywhere. So if he, you can make a change, I can make a change, you come forward. The party leaders are give us opportunity mm. to prove what we can okay, do. Okay, so all you want to do is to make a change. Okay, uh, uh, let, let's deal with the alternative. If, if you don't get to win, there are three other individuals. You have Kojo Bonsu, you have Dr. Kwabna Dufo, you have John Dramani Mahama. If NS Kobia doesn't win this very primaries, who else should, should win? If I was said, old boy, if the old boy win, mm. I will support with everything I have. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but no, try and get my question. Yeah. There are three other individuals. Yeah. There is <laughs> your good friend, uh, Kujo Bonsu, there is uh, Dr. Kwabana Dufo, there is John Ramani Mahama. If you don't win, who else would you go for? To be honest, um, Everyone, you you, everyone used to say that I'm JM boy. Okay. Everyone used to say that. But if we'll ever win in NDC, you know, you support our leaders. Yeah. So I'll go for any one of them and I will use everything. Yeah, but who, sh who do you think you should go to if you don't get to win? Oh. Nah. oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. All right, I know you don't want to say that. Okay. okay. My father uh, is inside, uh, so right. if anything so, goes wrong, I go. You, you love John Mahama so much. Yeah. Mm. So, so yeah. why are you contesting him? I mean, they open it. So why I see Dunkatia was contesting the Obusuwa uh -huh. They are best of friends. Right. Yeah, and even I can contest my own father. Right. Yeah, because something in me, mm. I believe that I can deliver in Ghana for us to be safe. Okay. What What's your target for for this primary? Are you winning, and by which margin do you target that you 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 may, you may win? To be honest. I'm planning for 90% because I believe myself that after the vetting, I'm a very hard worker guy. Mm. There was a guy, he's a successful business in the in, uh, UK. Mm. What he said to me last week, he said, Ernest, I know you're a hard worker guy. That is what you want to do. Go forward. And I believe that if you put the hard worker, I know you for the past 10 years, you're going to make change. 90%. You yeah. want to... 90% of the yeah. votes. Is that realistic? Yeah. For you, look, uh, uh, Dream Castle, look like Sun Castle, yeah, etc. Yeah. But for me, I'm 100% in my heart. And always, mm. when I decided to do something, God always helped me out because I work hard and achieve it. There's the question as to whether you even have the, the resources to, to do what you're doing. Do, do you have the money to? To run the race, because whether you like it or not, 
Yeah, I'm, I'm sure by now some of the delegates are already coming to you. You, you know, you need to, as usual, for libation, quote and unquote. How much are you spending on this campaign? To be honest with you, for security reasons, I'm not going to be bringing things out. Mm. But, oh, but you're spending yeah, a lot, a lot yeah, of money. Yeah, but I have the resources to do this job. Mm. And to be honest, in life, it's all about your heart. And God will open the doors for you where you think there is no way. Mm. And sometimes people think that uh, this guy, even today, mm -hmm. in my, my own party office, right. some of them did not believe I'm coming to some. Submitted. Yeah. I'll be honest with you. 500,000 yeah. Ghana cities. Yeah. 500,000 yeah. Ghana cities. Yeah. You, 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 you know what my mom, to my mom asked me today? Mm -hmm. uh, it's uh, if in case uh, they did not take the money from me, where are you going to? Because my mom thinks that he still see me as a, a young Ernest right. and a little one. So when I say I'm going to submit today, who who going to give you the money? How are you going to get oh, the even, money? Even your, your mother was surprised. Yeah, because, that, that because she, have, to... yeah she have only me. Yeah, you your, your mom was surprised that you were able to, yeah. I mean, cough up the 50 or 500,000 Ghana cities. That money is gone. It won't come back. I know that. It won't come back. Oh. I, can, I, can, I can provide you maybe seven times now. I don't really care. What I want is to make a change. So tomorrow, mm -hmm. if you, you have an NDC card, mm -hmm. you can go to the office at the age of 40 years mm -hmm. and tell our leaders or our fathers that you want to stand. Mm -hmm. And they will give you the form. If you go through the vetting, and that's not what I'm hoping or wishing for you, because this is a lot of money. And and your party leadership says, "I'm sorry, NST, we, you, you you can't make it through. We, we can't approve you. We can't allow you to contest the elections." Will you ask for a refund of your money? No, because I'll use the money to support whoever come in. And my biggest achievement mm -hmm. is not everything you see. I just want to open the doors because I, I know that a lot of things people can do to help this country. Mm -hmm. A lot of people can do things to help the country. Right. But there is a fear. There is a fear in people. I just want to remove it. Now, what my party leaders have done is a very grateful job they did. Right. And as for me, decision they made, that is it. Mm. It's the end of the story. Nothing anybody can do. Right. Yeah, so if we, I go to the vetting, they say this and that, this and that. Mm -hmm. Sorry, Mr. Kobia, you are not going forward. I'll say, thank you, sir. Yeah, but you know that can happen. Of course. The, the fact that, and that you, that's all, your 500,000 cities. It's is gone. gone. I know. 500,000 Ghana cities. Don't worry about it. I know that. I fully know that mm. if they said yes, mm -hmm. you will see me. If they say no, I'll say thank you. Okay, let, let's get a sense, for, for those who may not know you, let's get a sense of who you are, how you make your money, for instance, because that's come up. Uh, okay. I'm sure you've heard some people say, well, he's, he's, yeah. he's, okay. he's a businessman, well, but, well, but um, we, don't, we don't know his contribution. Okay. We don't know what, Me, what I'm a, he's about. I'm a, business, uh, I'm a business guy. Yeah, but you, I, you don't operate I, mostly in Ghana. So yeah, yeah. I'm based in the United Kingdom. Okay. Weja Bawe is my constituency. Okay. I'm a someone, um, I'm into construction. I'm into uh, sanitizer. At the same time, I provide the security. At the same time, cleaning as well. And there is um, a job I, I work with. Mm -hmm. If in future, maybe, I will do that in Ghana. So okay. there is a machine called TBM machine. Normally use it to do the sewage, underground sewage, and also underground train station and etc. Right. So all my job, I provide a lot of service for Canary Wharf. Mm -hmm. And Canary Wharf is the financial state for, I would say, Europe or right. England. Right. So that is it. Mm. Ernest is not doing anything different. Mm. Yeah, but I'm someone today, if we, you tell me that, Ernest, can you make sure that this place is paint? Mm. So far as you're going to pay me, because I, I have a target, mm. <laughs> I, 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 will, I will do it for you, and I'll make sure that I finish okay. on time, so you give me another uh, we'll come back. We'll come back to the NDC briefly, but because yeah. of time, I want to take your thoughts on national issues as well. Uh, given the fact that you're, you're aspiring to become president, if that happens, what do you, dream do you have? I mean, in terms of your priority, because you are telling us that you want to build a new Ghana. To be honest with what, you. What would be that one? For instance, President Akufado can boast of free senior high school, right? You agree? Yeah. So, NS Kobia will boast of? My first one is to make sure that 
everybody in 18 years, or every child is in 18 years in this country, straightforward to the military, and you need to serve three years. The reason is, I just want them to have love for the country. So when they become you, a... You give three years mandatory military training yes, to everyone to, yeah, who because 18. A lot of people, mm -hmm. there is no job for them to do. So they selling a lot of things in the street, making sure that they, they, they want to eat. Okay. So I'll create something up for them. Mm -hmm. And at the same time, they will plan, ah, I want somebody like you, you work in here, maybe you're getting uh, 1,005, you got uh, three children, and 1,005 is not enough for you in Accra. I will top up your wages every month so that you can get better living. Oh, that's what you'll be doing for everyone? Yeah. Even in the private sector? Yeah. So you give them more money, and yeah. then they do what, yeah. and what a, else? And the second one is, I'll make sure that the, uh, the wages we have... Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I mean, when, when you give them the money, what, what do they do in exchange for the money? No. It's for the free? taxpayer money, okay. the taxpayer money we have in the country, mm. sorry to say that, okay. people wasting it, we're going to cut it to support the families. So like somebody giving birth and the child is the disabled and mother struggle to look after their children, and et cetera, support. they will be support. Okay. And at the same time, Accra is an old city. We need to create a job for the people. So we need to start building it mm. because if we start building it, we're going to generate more jobs. Okay, so what you mean is you're going to build a new capital? Yeah. A new, a new this capital one, city. we will take it forward. Make sure that okay. it's up to stand a uh, new development for us to have a better life and better economy mm -hmm. and a better environment to live in. Have you shared these plans with, with your party? Of course they know. My yeah, reason. because I can my, see that in any of your manifestos. No, the my vision statement is in, okay. but my manifesto is Udachinti. Mm -hmm. Future. Oh, that's your, your caption. Would that change? Would that change? Oh, amazing. Amazing. Um, so we're still waiting for May. You, you'll be around till, till May, right? Or you still I'm leave here. the country? No. And, or yeah. you, you'll be yeah. here all throughout. Um, so, what commitments are you going to make to the NDC? Um, you, you are indicating that you've done some in the past, correct? Yeah. How, much, how much, for instance, have you spent on the party? Because you were telling me the other time about how. You continue to pump a lot of money to support the NDC. Please, for, um, for security reasons, mm. I cannot... Th this is the second time you're saying security yeah. reasons. It, yeah. It's a lot? Yeah, because... It's, it's more than... Yeah. Uh, give us a range, no, for instance. I'm not going to be doing okay. that. This mm. is the family issue. Mm. This is the family issue. What we have on the family is not supposed to be on yeah, the But family. you know why I'm asking you? Because you told me the other time. That's why I'm asking you. I did say that, okay. but I cannot wash my... My pit outside. Right. Yeah, this is this is our family issue. Mm. And what I'll say is we all need to wait and see what the resource is. And I believe that I'm gonna be seeing you again here oh, yes. after the resource. Definitely. Yeah. And and you'll be the next presidential you, candidate of the NDC. You never know. Anything in life you want to do, go ahead and do it. Mm. And God will help you out. Okay, if you don't get the eventual one, um there are some who are saying we should look at possibly a new phase for or a new ticket for the NDC going into the 2024 elections. If, would you, if you don't win the main one, opt for vice presidential slots? No, or no, no. Would you push no, no, that no. something else? No, to, to, be, to be honest, I have to make it clear to you, I'm not here mm -hmm. to contest any position. My plan is to build a new government. So it's either your president or nothing else? Thank you. Okay. Right. Uh, okay. Your message to Ghanaians. My message to Ghanaians is we can do it. We can build a new Ghana. We all need to come together mm. and strong and make sure that NDC live forever. Mm. Thank and thank you, you NS, for, for joining us. We'll, we'll see you after the contest. I'm sure that uh, by then you, I'll see if your 90% mark will work but you're telling me as well that you're a jm boy i don't know how we'll balance that but we're grateful so much Thank that you've you. been able to spend some time with us and you're still with us here on the polls when we return we'll tell you some more of these things